So it's December, you guys. I decided to do something a little bit different this month and introduce you to haul this. And every week I will be showing you what I've been picking up for my online reselling business to show you the variety and things that I do pick up, especially right before the holiday season. Hello guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Erlia, otherwise known as Marty Check. And if this is your first time on my channel, I am an online business owner and reseller. And this whole channel is just about business tips, hauls, thrifting, and everything in between. If you guys like the sound of that, make sure to hit the little subscribe button down below as well as the notification bell right next to it to be notified every time I put out a new video. But also make sure to give this video a huge thumbs up down below to help me and support my channel in the YouTube algorithm. So today I have a huge haul laid out in front of me of two days of sourcing, one from the Nordstrom Rack 40% off Black Friday sale and then also of my Buy Sell Trade Store run day where I just go to a ton of different buy sell trade stores all in one day and see what I can find. If you guys like hauls, you are in for a treat. I think I have about four bags of things below me. So it's gonna be a little bit of a longer video. I'm going to try to see if I can pick out the things that I like the most last, but I really don't know what things are going to come up here first. So I guess I will just start with the Nordstrom Rack haul. The first thing that I got from the Nordstrom Rack were these Onya We Wore What pants. I'm hoping that you guys can see these a little bit. These are just kind of some beachy pants from them called the Seersucker Pant, I guess. These are stunning, and I was actually really excited to find these because this is a bolo brand for me that I have not found yet. These were originally $30 on the red tag sale, and then they were also an additional 40% off. So I thought that that was really good, and that means that I had an over 80% savings on just these pants, which if you guys are new to retail arbitrage, you do want to have at least 80% off of retail price around there, depending on what comps are looking like to make sure that you're making the right choices. I think these for the springtime will absolutely go, but if anyone is looking for a nice vacation pant, in the meantime, these will also be great. The second item that I got here is also a summer item. They did have quite a few of these in the store, but none in this exact style and size. These are just a basic pair of Madewell shorts. These are in the mom jean short style in a size 28. These are a very basic classic pair of shorts, and these sell pretty well for me, and they have in the past as well. I paid around $10 for these, so I really can't complain about price there. Madewell is a bread and butter brand for me, so I will pick it up. It is December, so I don't think that these will sell that fast, but I do honestly sell a lot of summer wear throughout the year as a whole. So I'm excited to see how those ones go as well, because I think it'll be sooner than I realize. The next item I was so excited for. So you guys know that I have been hunting down boots and leather items a lot this year, and they've been really profitable for me. And I ended up finding Bloodstone boots even cheaper than when I found them at the Sierra store. If you follow me on my Instagram, I did reveal, I have actually these ones right next to me. These little pretty ones were from the Sierra store on clearance, and I got those for a really great price. But then also I found a different pair at the Nordstrom Rack sale, and even cheaper. So these were originally $65 and then with the 40% off coupon, that is a heck of a deal on these. These ones aren't as glittery as the other ones I have. These are just a basic neutral pair of bloodstone boots, but these are all leather and I just know that these will sell really fast. After that, going back into clothing here, these were a pair of Reformation jeans. I originally went in and looked right into the dress section because I know that I sell a lot of Reformation dresses, but I only ended up finding a pair of their jeans and these ended up being $30 after the discount, which I thought was good because I usually sell these for around $80 and these are in a gorgeous kind of medium to dark wash. Um, I don't know the style of these right now. It's actually covered up. I think it says Liza, Liza High Rise Straight in Jamaica. So I didn't look up comps on these because they usually just sell pretty well for me in general. So yeah, these ones were great finds and great bread and butter finds as well. If I can find these for around $30 to $20, I will pick them up. The next items I found were these little Doc Martin sandals. If you've watched some of my last videos, I have been stocking up on leather sandals as well, especially in this chunky platform kind of style because these are gonna be really hot for the springtime. I only paid less than $20 for these and for the style, for the condition, there's nothing wrong with them at all. They just don't have the box on them. I thought that these were really great finds. 
And the final items I got were actually not on sale. These were extremely discounted, however. So these come in the original box with the dust bag. It just doesn't have a lid to it. I don't know why these were marked down so much because they don't have a regular Nordstrom sticker. They came right from Nordstrom, but these are a pair of Anine Bing leather pointed toe Western booties. These are in pristine condition and I am obsessed with them. Again, I've been loving the leather style as well as the Western style recently. So I have been picking up quite a bit more of these types of items, but with a major bolo brand like Anine Bing, I I was so excited that is a little dust bag that comes with them and it also comes in the original box these for some reason were only at 55 dollars so i know that these will go for a lot more than this i have a dress right now that's been in my closet for a little bit granted but i think i have that one at 250 and i would probably take anywhere over 154 so getting these for around 50 dollars these are absolutely going to sell and i'm very excited to see how they go but those are all of the items that I ended up getting at that Nordstrom Rack sale. Again, I was going on a Sunday and I really wasn't intending on finding anything, but when I went through, I did see a few pieces that other people had just left behind and not really paid any attention to. So I was really excited to find these there. If anyone knows when these Nordstrom sales happen, can you please just like leave me a comment down below or DM me? I seem to never know when they have sales and I'm always late on the ball. So if someone could like set a reminder for me or just let me know down in the comments. I would appreciate that and love you so much. So now on to the buy sell trade store run. I have a lot of different varieties of items so I'm hoping that you guys can keep up. I think I'm going to start with what I ended with here. So the first thing I want to show you guys are these rag and bone loafers. These are in a pretty neutral cream tan color and these are in pristine condition. There is nothing wrong with them at all. These are in a size 40 which I think is a size 8. I could be wrong. I only paid $16 for these and again these are in perfect condition so I was really excited about finding these. These were actually in my local buy sell trade store which I stopped at last. I was so shocked that these were there because the buy sell trade store in my local area is usually not that good but these were great finds. The second thing that I got at that store then, I need to button up the front. I'm always the worst at that when I'm looking at stuff, I always just leave everything unbuttoned. These are a pair of Levi's Made and Crafted 501 jeans with the tags on them. These were such a reasonable price. I'll usually pick up the Levi's 501s as long as they are, you know, $18 and under because these usually go for me around $50. I know that is not a huge market, but let me tell you, these go so fast that I always pick them up anymore because I think a $20 flip really fast is better than me waiting on some other items. So these are definitely bread and butter when it comes to my closet. They have all of this cut out little floral detailing on the sides here and I am obsessed with it. it goes down both legs and I really just loved this wash. This is also a selvage pair which just means that there is a selvage edge on the inside of the jean like that. So these were excellent finds and I was shocked that I even found these two there. And these were again my last stop so to find two really good things there I was excited to find these. The rest really are in no particular order because when I was bringing everything inside, I honestly just threw everything into the same bag. So I'm sorry if I'm jumping around a lot here. I guess I'll just continue with another pair of denim. These are a pair of a Goldie jeans. The store that I got these from did not know what these were at all, and these are in a great style from them. I believe that these are a straight leg jean because they're definitely not a skinny jean, and these are in a size 28, so they have a zipper fly, and they are 100% cotton. Again, they did not know what these were at all, so I only paid $12 for these. And these will consistently go for me around $50 to $70, so I was excited to find these as well in such a great style. I'm also wondering with those, since I can't model those, if I can find a Revolve stock photo, because honestly, those styles look very, very similar to the ones I see on there, and the tag looks pretty recent, so I think I could probably find one for those. <laughs> All right, keeping you guys on your toes was an item that I don't think that I should have picked up 
At the beginning of my reselling journey, I was always looking for Lululemon, and I always still am, as you guys know, but this item in particular, I think I paid up for a little bit too much, but I was thinking in my mind, again, if I could just profit $20 on it and it was a fast flip, that would be fine. So you guys tell me if these actually still go for you. I forget what these are called, but this is just a basic long sleeve tee from Lululemon with these little armholes. Let me know down in the comments if you know what style of t-shirt this is from them, because I'm honestly forgetting. But the last time I sold these, I sold them for around $60. So I'm really excited to see how this one goes as well. There is another theme to this haul besides the Western and the denim and the fun prints that are coming up here. It is athleisure. You guys know I've been picking up a ton of athleisure for January 1st and January as a whole because I know a lot more people are going to be looking for it. The next item I have here, the label is coming off, but these are just a pair of Beyond Yoga Soul Cycle collab leggings. These are also something I'm hoping just to make a quick profit on because these I was debating for a little bit here because I wasn't sure how well they would sell. So if these don't sell right away in January, I think I'm just gonna do a price drop on these and see how they go and get this moving to make room for other inventory. The next item here is so exciting. So I rarely, if ever, stop in this particular buy, sell, trade store because they usually price everything really high and it's a bunch of bread and butter brands and nothing really too great. And anything that is a little bit greater, they price up through the roof. So for them not to mark this up, I was very surprised. This was a Fame and Partners times free people dress. I don't know if this was in the thrift store before because the free people part is marked out, but this actually still has the return tag on it. So this is the dress. And again, I just think this would be perfect for a little silky moment on New Year's Eve. It has a zipper down the back here. And it says that it's a size zero, but I don't know if I believe that or not. I'm gonna have to take some measurements of it. I'm not sure if it's just because the skirt is a little bit wider here, but this was stunning. And I saw that most of these were selling around 150 to 200 on Poshmark and on eBay. This I only paid $17 for. This is a major score for me and I'm very excited. So thank you to the employee at this store that marked this down. I'm very, very excited to sell it. The other thing at the store that I found right after this dress was this gorgeous, silky Wilfred free skirt. I was in love with this and this still has the tags on it. I just love the little animal print and this is kind of a midi to maxi skirt. I think for me it would be more of a midi since I'm a little bit taller and this is in a size 10 so it's a great size this originally retailed for $110 but I'm not sure what I'm going to sell it for just yet I only paid $15 for this so even if it just sells for 50 I would be happy but I am hoping to get just a little bit more for this fun fabric and the pattern here up next is another item that in hindsight, I probably shouldn't have picked up. This is a pair of Mob Girlfriend Collective cropped leggings. I probably shouldn't have paid up for these since Girlfriend Collective is kind of going out now and they are in a cropped style here. And these are also in a size extra small. These are just a very niche item for someone. But again, I've been trying to stockpile some athleisure and athletic pieces. But even so, I just think that I paid a little bit too much for these at $11. So I'm hoping that these go, but we will see. Up next, we have another little denim moment. These are a pair of Rag & Bone jeans. Rag & Bone really is going out for their skinny styles, but I've noticed a lot with their wide leg and straight leg fit styles that they're still pretty good. This is their newer label as well. So if you see anything like this with a newer label, it's probably a good pick depending on the style. But these I think are just a basic pair of straight leg jeans with a raw hem down at the bottom. These must have been worn once, but these are just really, really pretty. They have this cream coloring on the inside of the band, a size 27. And these are called, oh no, they're not a straight leg. These are called the Rosa Midrise Boyfriend Jeans. So I think that these have a great chance of selling. They are in a great style. They have a button fly. They're all cotton. So really excited about these. The last time that I found these at this specific store, they sold really fast for me. So I paid $20 for these, but these usually flip $50 and up for me. So I'm excited to see again how these ones will sell. And I'll keep you guys updated on these because Rag & Bone is just one of those brands that is really particular in the styles that you should be picking up to resell. So I was excited about this one. After that is another piece of Lululemon. They really did price this well at this store. It's the same store that I got the long sleeve at. I thought I paid a little bit too much for the long sleeve, but this was also $20. This is just a little hoodie 
study from them. So I know that I've sold these before and they've got around $70. So I was very excited to find this. If any of you guys know the exact print, it's like a chevron, but a chevron green, let me know down below. I'm definitely not a Lululemon expert here, but I do use the Lululemon Fanatics website to find most of my style names for my Lululemon items. So that is just a little symbol on the back there. I get so excited when I find Lululemon jackets because these always do really well for me. So great find there. The next item here is one that I probably should have left behind because I'm realizing that these were a size tall. So that's not too great, but these are size 33 tall stovepipe jeans from Madewell in a bright white color. And for some reason in this buy, sell, trade store, these pair of jeans were marked less. I'm not sure if it's because they're a plus size or if it was just the white color, but usually buy, sell, trade stores in my area mark Madewell around $20 and these were definitely not $20. I think I paid 12 for them. So I thought that these would be a really great pick for January, February time. So if you guys haven't seen the label on the back there, that's what that looks like. So I thought that these would be a great pick for the new year here, but we're gonna see how these ones go. I was feeling a little bit hesitant with these in particular because white jeans for me are just kind of iffy. The next item here came from the same exact store as the Madewell jeans, and I'm not sure if these came from the same person or not. I actually have these in a size large already, but they're just a basic pair of camo seamless Spanx leggings, and I just love these. These are a great bread and butter basic to have in your store. This is what Spanx looks like when it doesn't have the red tag to it. So make sure that you're familiar with that. These will go around $50. I did not pay a lot for these, so I was excited to find them. Like I said, guys, this is a very long haul. So if you have stayed watching this long, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up down below to support me for wholeness and make sure that more people get to see these. I get so excited when I find good stuff to resell. So let's keep going here. The next item was a $4 clearance item from this one store that I go to and they're just these three by one NYC jeans. These look pretty basic on the top and I've been eyeing these up. They have some fringe in the bottom here waiting for these to go on clearance because they had them at $16 and I was not about to pay $16 for these. $4, absolutely. These have sold for me pretty fast in the past, but I think they only sold around $40. I could be wrong. So for $4, that is less than thrift store prices and I absolutely will pick these up. The next item I got was also on that four... I just realized that this actually still has the tags on it, which is so exciting, but there is a flaw in the front, which I'm honestly happy to fix because of the price that I got it at. This was only $4. So it's this pretty free people blouse. And if you guys can tell the flaw, it is just that the stitching has come out a little bit on the front of the blouse here, but it also has a little bit of hardware in the front to keep it closed anyways. And then the back is all open with a big tie. So this is so cute. It's like a little flutter blouse. This is a size extra small, but it is definitely oversized because I think that this could even fit a size medium. So this is a great score. I'm really excited about this one because I think in the springtime or if anyone's going on vacation, this will be great for them to pick up or bundle. I swear, I do not pick up a lot of free people on the regular, but when it's nicer stuff, I do pick it up. This one's actually not a free people branded item, but it was sold at free people. This is such a stunning dress. It is a maxi dress with kind of a cutout sweetheart neckline with the free people tag still on it. This is the brand Sun Becomes Her, and this was originally $242. I got such a steal on this. I did pay $35 for this, which some of you guys are gonna be like, Aralia, what? Like, why did you pay that much for this? dress. I looked at the comps and the comps looked around 175. So I am fine with spending that so long as it sells and it was new with the tags. So I definitely think that this will go for anyone wanting to go on vacation or right at the beginning of spring for summer. The next item I got here, you guys are probably going to be like, Aralia, why did you pick these up? I actually found out about this brand a little bit ago when I found another pair of their boots in the thrift store and I did pick those up as well. Those still come in the box, but these are a pair of Thursday boot comps company boots. These have some lace up detailing and they do have a little bit of wear on them. I'm not sure if you guys can see that or not, but a lot of people do like distressed boots. So I don't know how well these are going to sell, but I only paid $14 for these. So even if they sell around 100 to 80, again, I'm going to be happy with that. And I thought that these would be great. I don't know if these are a men's size or a women's size. I think that they're a women's size because they're a size nine and these look to be about my size. These were great bread and butter for me and I think that these absolutely can 
sell for a good profit margin. Continuing with the boot trend here, I was so excited to find these. Some of you are going to be like, Early, why'd you buy those? But you would be surprised. These are another pair of Doc Martens in a Christmas color. These are red and they have plaid all lining them. I'm going to be listing these at a really competitive price because I want them gone for Christmas. I think these are in a size six. So I'm very, very excited to see how these ones go. I loved the bows on the front here. And again, some of you are like, earlier, why would you pick that up? But these are selling so fast. I only paid, I think, $30 for these. And the other ones I have right now are listed at $160 and I've gotten a lot of attention. So I'm excited to see if I list these around $120 to see how fast they would move. The final item then that I got from the Buy Sell Trade stores when I went was this gorgeous new with tags Majorelle dress. You didn't know Majorelle is a brand that they sell on Revolve. As you guys can see, I only paid $16 for this. And these are also going around the $200 range so the tag is stuck here give me one second so that is what the dress looks like it's a nice animal print maxi dress and it has some ruffles down at the bottom it's in a size medium which is a great consumer size I'm so excited to see how much this one goes for especially since I only paid it $16 for this Majorelle is another big bolo brand if you didn't know already so I think I found a lot of nice maxi dresses denim and leather in this haul and a lot of fun prints too so I'm really excited to see how they sell this December and in the new year. I think some of these are spring prints as well, so I will be waiting on them a bit longer, but I feel like I paid a really reasonable price for everything. So yeah, that is everything I have for you in week one of Hall Miss for me. If you guys enjoyed this video, of course, make sure that you give it a big thumbs up down below. And also, if you've gotten this far and are not subscribed to me yet, make sure that you hit that little subscribe button down below and also the notification bell so you can be updated every single time I post a new video. All right, guys, I will see you in my next one. Bye.